What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show here today. We got a three-game set with the Milwaukee Brewers coming to town. They're in a really good record, just like we are. Brewers are seven and two. We are seven and three. And here we go. Top of the first, two outs, runners on second and third for Glaber Torres. He's hitting 235 on this young season. Got an 0-1 count against Kyle Harrison. So Harrison, the left-hander, is going to kick and deal here. That's a ground ball to the right side. That'll be an easy pickup. Throw to first. We'll keep things scoreless here in the first. And we're moving on. Bottom half of the inning. Two outs. Nobody on. Still no score. I'm standing in batting 326 on the season. Ethan Small is the man on the mound for the Brew Crew here. This left-hander throws a 93 mile an hour four seamer, 92 on his two seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch right back up the middle, off the mound and into center field. And we have a single to start things off in this game at the plate. We'll take that anytime we can get our hands on it. We come back bottom of the third. It's a two nothing ball game now. Milwaukee out in front, runners on first and second, nobody out and I'm standing in one for one on the day. Ethan Small about to throw pitch number 43 of his outing. Let's see what we get here. Hot shot to the third baseman. He tags the runner, throws across to first base, and it's a double play again for me. I am hitting into a lot of those here. 5-3 double play for those of you scoring at home. We come back bottom of the fifth. It's 2-1 ball game. San Fran is on the board now. Two outs, nobody on, and I'm standing in one for two on the day. Ethan Small still on the mound for the Brewers. Let's see what I can do against him in this at-bat. High fly drive to deep left field. Looks like that's going to get caught just about on the warning track. You betcha there it is. And I'm swinging at everything so far today. One pitch is all I've seen in every at-bat. And so far I am one for three on the day for it. But after five innings, we're trailing the Brewers by a score of two to one. We're moving on. Top of the sixth, it's a three to one ball game now. Letty Tavares at the plate for the Brewers. He's one for one on the day with a runner on second and one away. He's got a one two count in this at bat against reliever Reggie Crawford. Wind up and the pitch is a ground ball up the middle. We'll get a glove on that and we'll throw to first. Surrender the uh, advancement of the runner but to get the second out. So the runner is now on third with two away here in the visitors half of the sixth. We come back bottom of the eighth. It's a four to one ball game. I'm standing in one for three on the day. Nobody out, nobody on. We got to make something happen here. Alex Lange is now on the mound for the Brewers. He hits 97 with his sinker, 90 on the circle change, 98 on his four seamer, and a knuckle curve at 87. First pitch from him. Below the knees with that knuckle curve. It's a 1 0 count in front of 30,732 in attendance today. Chopper down the left field line. Third baseman scoops it up, throws across, gets me. Good stretch by the first baseman there to make that play. And that is an unfortunate end to that at bat. One away now with nobody on in the eighth. And the Brewers win the game here. Final score, four to one. We're gonna move on to game number two, and you know what that means. This is where I remind everybody if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Will Bedner is on the mound for the Giants, but as we come up to the plate here in the bottom of the first with no score and a runner on first, one away, and I'm batting 319 on the season currently. Reed Detmers is the man on the mound for the Brewers. He hits 95 with his four-seamer and 96 on the two-seamer. That's all he's got that's quick. First pitch called a strike off the outside corner. That's a sketchy call right there, man. Owen won the count now. Second pitch of the at bat inside. That one's thankfully called a ball. One and one the count. Man, that really aggravates me, that first pitch going strike. Ooh, too far out in front of a sweeping curve there, and it goes foul down the left field line. That had some speed off the bat, 97 miles an hour. But we have a one and two count as it does not stay between the lines. And there's another one I was out in front of. Slider this time below the knees on the inside corner. And the count remains one and two. Next pitch. Right to the third baseman. It's going to be thrown into right field. So I reach first on an error. We have runners on the corners now with only one away. It's not a base hit. So well, what can you do? It's still on base though. Top of the third. No score. 
Runner on first, nobody out for Lawrence Butler, who has no batting average this season. He's got a 2-2 count here in this at bat with the runner on first and nobody out. Will Bedner kicks and deals. Ground ball right to me at second. We're going to flip to the shortstop covering. He relays to first. It's going to be in time. It's a 4-6-3 double play that takes the runners off the bases and puts two outs on the board in their place. I like it. Top of the fourth, we come back to it. William Contreras at the plate for the Brewers. He's 0 for 1 on the day. And one out, nobody on for him, and a 1-2 count in this at bat. Will Bedner delivers a pitch, and it's a ground ball up the middle. We'll get a glove on that. Throw to first. We'll be in plenty of time. Two away now in the top of the fourth. Bottom half of the inning. I'm up to the plate for the second time today. 0 for 1 so far, and I'm going to get a dynamic challenge with the bases empty. Um, I don't know what I want to do. Let's try for the draw a walk. I doubt it's going to happen, though. Reed Detmers still towing the rubber for Milwaukee. First pitch of the at-bat from him. Just off the inside corner with a circle change, and it's a 1-0 count to start this at-bat. Next pitch from him. Oh, I swung at a four-seamer inside and popped it up to the first baseman there. Yeah, that was a dumb swing. And there you have it. First out in the bottom of the fourth is now complete. Bottom of the seventh, we come back to it. Nobody out, nobody on. Still no score. Belly full of Cracker Jack. Let's see what I can do with an 0-2 line score so far today. First pitch of the at-bat from Detmers. He's off the plate away with a four-seamer. One and oh, the count. Come on, big fella. Give me something good to swing at here. Second pitch. Hot shot down the left field line past a diving third baseman, so we do get a base hit in this one. I'm standing on first with my first hit of the game. I like it. I like it a lot. Top of the eighth, still no score. Sal Freilich at the plate for the Brewers. He's 0 for 3 on the day. One away, nobody on for him, and an 0-1 count in this at-bat. Will Bedner still towing the rubber for the Giants here. A uh, little lazy ground ball to me at second. We'll run up on that. Throw to first. Got to hurry. Gets the jobs done, though. And we have two outs now on the top of the eighth. Bottom of the ninth, Milwaukee has opened up a 4-0 lead. And I'm standing in with a 1-for-3 day at the plate so far. 2-for-7 on the series. I have a runner on first and one away. And Reed Detmer's still on the mound for the Brewers. Wow, first pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss and a circle change below the knees on the outside corner. And that makes for an 0-1 count to start things off here in the bottom of the ninth. As long as we avoid the double play, we should be fine. And we watch a four-seamer above the knees on the inner third. And that makes for an 0-2 count now. The two-strike pitch inside just barely with that four-seamer. One and two the count. I was kind of worried that was going to get called a strike. He checks the runner at first before making the fourth pitch of the at-bat. This will be his 100th pitch of the game in this early season matchup. Oh, I went swinging at a sweeping curve that was way off the inside corner. Got a piece of it and fouled it away, thankfully. And the count remains one and two. Next pitch. Send into right center field. That's going to be a two-bagger off the bat. That's going to the deep part of the outfield there. And it rattles up against the bottom of the wall. I'm going to hold up at second. And it is now a four-to-one ball game. We are not getting shut out today, good sirs. We'll take an RBI double. Second double of the season for me. So that's a perk. But unfortunately, the Brewers do win the game. Final score, 4-1. to one. And that's all she wrote for game number two. Let's move to game number three, see if we can avoid getting swept at home by the visiting Milwaukee Brewers. All right, here we go. Bottom of the first. No score here. Two outs, nobody on. I'm batting third in the order. 333 the batting average. Lots of threes going on here. I like it. Logan Gilbert is the man on the mound for the Brewers in this one. He hits 98 with his four-seamer, 97 on the sinker. Nothing else over 89 miles an hour. First pitch of the at-bat is ripped up the middle and into center field. There's a base hit again. The hit streak is alive and well for me here. Playing for the Giants, there's only been one game where I have not gotten a hit so far, so that's a heck of a start to my season. I will take that. Top of the second, we come back to it. Two outs, nobody on for Jonathan Aranda. He's hitting 243 on the season, has a 1-2 count in this at-bat against pitcher Matt Manning. Wind up and the pitch from the righty Manning. And it's a ground ball to the right side. We'll get a glove on that, throw to first. We'll be in plenty of time, and that ends things here in the top of the second. We're moving on. 
bottom of the third now. I'm up to the plate with two outs and nobody on. No score currently. One for one on the day with that single I hit in my first at bat. Logan Gilbert about to throw pitch number 37 of his outing to start this AB. And it's a just barely foul down the first baseline. Oh, that sucks. It was maybe a foot off the bag. So we have an 0-1 count. Next pitch is chopped up the middle. Shortstop gets a glove on it, though. Throws across the first baseman to beat me by a step. And that's all she wrote for the third inning. So we're heading on to the fourth. Still no score here in San Francisco. Top of the sixth. We come back to it. No score yet again. Lawrence Butler at the plate for the Brewers. It's his second A.B. batting out of the nine hole. He's got an 0-1 count with nobody out and nobody on. Wind up and the pitch. That's a hot shot to me at second. We'll throw to first. Easy play. One away here in the top of the sixth. Bottom half of the inning. I'm at the play for the third time today. One out. Nobody on. Still no score. Logan Gilbert about to throw pitch number 71 of his outing. And that pitch is going to be ripped foul. 12-6 curve just above the knees. Way out in front of that. And foul down the left field line. So we have an 0-1 count in this at bat now. Second pitch. Oh, I swing at a four-seamer up above the zone by quite a bit. And it's an 0-2 count with no chance of contact being made there. And a swing and a miss at a slider below the knees. And it's a strikeout next to my name in this one. I think that's my first strikeout of the series. So that's kind of impressive to make it all the way into the third game for that. Bottom of the seventh, we come back to it. One out, bases loaded. Three to one, the score, San Fran in the lead. And I'm standing in with a one for three line score now. Matt Allen is on the mound in relief for the Brewers. He hits 97 with his four seamer, 96 on the two seamer. Nothing else quick. And the first pitch is low and away with a two seamer. One and oh, the count. I'm hitting a lofty 400 with runners in scoring position this season so far. The one oh pitch from Allen. Check swing on the change up. Come on, game. Change up in the lower outside corner of the zone. I was too far out in front of it, and the game check swung me, so we have a one and one count. Pitch number three of the at bat is low and inside with a four seamer. Two and one the count. All right, come on, big guy. Walk works just the same as a base hit here. It'll still drive in the run. And a pitch off the plate away with a change up, and it's a three and one count. I think we might just take all the way here and see if we can't uh, walk in the run. Let's go, boys. You betcha off the inside corner, and that walk pushes in the run. We'll take that. It's a 4-1 to one ball game now. That's a thing of beauty right there. Top of the eighth, we come back to it. It's an 8-4 to four ball game now. Two outs, runner on second. Kevin Barrett at the plate for the Brewers, who are trailing by four. Left-handed Reggie Crawford is on the mound in relief for the Giants. He throws a 2-2 pitch that is ripped into right center field, deep part of the yard. Center fielder runs it down in the alley. And that's all she wrote for that half of the inning. We're moving to the bottom half, leading the Brewers by a score of 8-4. And the Giants do take the win here in game number three to avoid getting swept. Final score is 8-4 in that one. The hit streak is alive and well for me after the one for three day at the plate. And uh, yeah, that's all for the series. So that's going to be all for this episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun social media things. And we will see you in the next one.